Hey, what's up guys? Second Carp Ever here, back again with another Modern Minecraft tutorial. Oh yeah, so today's topic, the inscribers from both Applied Energistics and AE2 stuff. Now, these both uh, these inscribers both do the same thing, but there is one main difference between them which I will get to later. So, the regular inscriber from AE2 is needed in order to make in order to make some high-tech stuff from AE, like so like drives and controllers and pretty much everything in the Applied Energistics mod. So the Inscriber needs one of four presses in order to do its thing. It needs either a calculation press, an engineering press, a logic press, or a silicon press, or if you have the pressed versions of those items, just a silicon, a silicon diamond, gold, or, uh, or pure certus. Okay, so... So you're going to need either silicon or the logic, engineering, or calculation circuits and a piece of redstone in order to make the actual circuit. And the inscriber can take three speed upgrades by default. So the speed, uh, so the inscriber, uh, so there's one main difference between the inscriber and the advanced inscriber. The inscriber can take RF power. The advanced inscriber cannot. So if you're going to power the if you're going to power the advanced inscriber, you're going to need you're going to need an energy acceptor. Alrighty. So the regular inscriber to make it, you're going to need two sticky pistons, five iron ingots, and a flux crystal. Flux crystals are made in world with a ch one charged nether quartz, one uh, one charged certus quartz, one nether quartz, and one redstone dust in a puddle of water. Alrighty. So, like I said, uh, so uh, so the the main thing about the inscriber is that its uh, its eyesightedness is very funky. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so weird. It's so weird how the eyesightedness works. So, uh, so I mean, so I mean, it, it makes sense. So, in order for uh, so you get you you pipe stuff into the top in order to get something out of the top. You pipe something in the bottom to put something in the bottom put something in the sides to uh you know get put something in put something in the middle and you pipe out the sides in order to get in order to get one of these little uh, one of these little things There's a little recipe there we go so here here's the recipes that we can use printed logic circuit printed silicon and redstone gives me a logic processor the inscriber logic press with gold gives you the printed logic circuit pretty much you pretty much it's pretty much pretty much uh, pretty much it's any it's in any eye so it's not it's not that hard okay so the advanced inscriber like i said is different than the uh, inscriber in that its eyesightedness actually works on all sides so you can pipe anything in from any side and it'll go into the appropriate slots and there's also uh, there's also there's also an option to <clears throat> uh, there's also an option to lock these uh, so that way uh, so that way if you're piping something out, it doesn't accidentally pipe out the wrong thing. I mean, I just use item filters anyway because I I can never be too sure. So uh, so the good th the good thing about uh, the good thing about having these lock uh, these locked slots is that you can't accidentally pump something out. So say for example, uh, say for example you're pumping out a calculation uh, trying uh, say for say for example you're trying to pipe out a, a printed calculation circuit. You you don't want to accidentally pipe out the press. That would that wouldn't be good. So that's that's why that's why there's this locked and unlocked thing. So you can click it, you can click it, and it'll change modes. So so if it's unlocked, it can be removed if no progress is ongoing and middle slot is empty. So already, so so to make the advanced inscriber, you're going to need a regular inscriber, two engineering processors, four iron ingots, and two hoppers along with the regular inscriber. That's the only recipe. I don't know why NEI is telling me there's more, but whatever. So, like I said, uh, like I said, advanced inscriber cannot be powered with RF. It has to be powered with AE uh, AE power, which you can do by getting an energy acceptor or by uh, running cable that has AE power. And the regular inscriber can be powered with RF, so you can connect. You can connect it directly to your main power line. You don't have to connect it to your AE power line. But if uh, if it if you do connect it to your AE power line, it's not the end of the world. It just uses power. It doesn't use data unless you uh, unless you uh, unless you connect some export buses to it. But whatever. Alrighty, guys. I think that'll do it for this Modern Minecraft tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this brief look at the Advanced Inscriber and the Regular Inscriber from Applied Energistics and AE2 stuff. 
If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so very much. Also, if you want to see more tutorials in the future, let me know what you want to see. Post it in the comments, tweet it at me, or is it just me on Google Plus? No, mention me on Twitter or on Google Plus, or I might not see it. So that'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.